Hello, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm doing an upgrade video on my new um, head unit for my Land Cruiser, my 95 Land Cruiser. So we have the Auto F7XE. <coughs> this is the wireless N dash car entertainment. I'm not gonna show you a full unboxing or what the deal is, but I'm gonna explain a little bit of my installation, <coughs> some of the troubles I had, and then we'll go over the radio and show you guys this beautiful radio. This radio does come with CarPlay and all that stuff, so it has a microphone where you hook it up to the, you plug it into the back, and then you're supposed to route this wherever you want to put in it. I don't plan <coughs> to talk, um, call people and talk while I'm doing this, so I decided to not use this uh, microphone for now. But if you want to do that stuff, <coughs> you can do it. It also come with this little trim piece that I ended up not using. It's not needed for the Land Cruiser. So this head unit is a direct bolt-on. There is no modification needed on the head unit. You can see there's a small gap right here, but it's not noticeable. It's not noticeable enough. So this thing fits perfectly in there. It also comes with some of the uh, metal hookup. And you will be using two of those. And then you also use your factory um radio mounts from your toyota factory one so it's pretty self-explanatory so the biggest issue i had was when i was wiring this up uh, when i took out the old radio the factory radio this was the plug that was plugged into the factory radio and i went ahead and chopped it off and i thought that it was simple as putting these wires and splicing it with the wires that came with the radio that's not the case <clears throat> when you remove the land cruiser <clears throat> you're gonna see this plug and then you're gonna see two other small plugs that are there with the um that's the stash you have to buy the wire harness adapter <coughs> that plugs into those two plugs and then you splice that into the wire that comes with the radio the radio is wire it has everything that's been it, all the wires are labeled so you know where um, what goes where and where so i did that and then i was having issue with it coming on with the small wire which controls the rear speakers, I had to unplug that wire for it to work. So right now it still has that one plug unplug, which is the rear speakers. So it has that main plug only. I don't know what the issue is, but now it's working fine. So once I got that working, um, the next thing I, the next issue I had was that my speak, my speakers was, was all buzzing. There was white noise, humming noise, and I did a video update about that um, about that issue so make sure you guys watch that so I did a little bit of research and I found out that you have to bypass the factory amp and some people they rewire they rewire it or they just do a simple bypass <coughs> and what that is <coughs> is you just have to get behind the glove box and unplug it so it's super simple there's two screws that hold the glove box open the glove box and then you can see the amplifier right there next to the ECU there's two plugs you just have to unplug it so I unplugged that today and viola it works now there's no humming no noise no nothing like that I also did had another issue which was the light there's a light right here the key ignition <coughs> and this light only comes on when the door is open and then it shuts off about five seconds after you close the door um, I wasn't able to resolve that after I unplugged the amplifier. So what I did was I just went ahead and opened this up and unplugged the light bulb because I don't really care too much about the light. So now everything works fine except for the rear speaker, which I don't really care because I bought this for the CarPlay and the app. So now with that being said, let's go <coughs> and take a look at the radio. You can put any logo you want or any car logo. There's a setting section for that. And you can see right here, it takes a while for it to boot up and it automatically connects to your CarPlay once you set it up. So my phone's already set up for CarPlay. It's right there. But um, so there it is. So I have CarPlay activated, Bluetooth activated. I also have the um, location activated so you guys can see everything. And also the USB here works well. This is the menu for it. And you have CarPlay. The only thing I can't find out is the Auto Link. Auto Link is where it basically like mirrors your mirrors your phone. So whatever your phone, whatever you see on your phone, it shows right here. And right now it's having issue doing Auto Link. So it's gonna show this connecting mirror Auto Link or Link for, and it just shows this forever. 
So I don't know what's going on with this. So if you guys know how to solve it, let me know. So let's go and <coughs> um, do a quick rundown of this radio and show you guys what it is. So I'm not gonna show you guys all the settings, but I'm gonna show you some of the features that I like. Um, they got the series. I don't have that. I have a CarPlay USB. You can plug stuff. There's a place for a micro SD. Um, you can put music, whatever videos, and then there's the aux, aux core to play music as well. Your power button, volume up and down, and you can also touch it. And then your uh, scan. So I also sh on my other video I also told you guys that when I turn it off. My last video I told you guys that when I turn it off I wasn't able to turn it on. <laughs> but I I think on the on the last video I was holding it and you're not supposed to hold it you're supposed to just press it so it is working fine now and then the home button right here and then also if you hold the home button it becomes uh, Siri so watch hey Siri uh, what's the weather And the low will be 54 degrees. Boom, there you go. So Siri works great. You can just press that button. So some other settings are, you know, your Apple CarPlay, Micro SD, Android, for all you Android guys. Um, you can play the radio. I'm not going to put the radio on because I don't want to play it. But now my my audio works fine. And then um, <coughs> this thing does have a wire for a rear camera, front camera. And also it also has a wire for steering. For people that have newer car i didn't hook up any of the steering or the rear cameras <coughs> um, because i don't want all that and then av av and um, the equalizer you guys all know this is all super simple stuff self-explanatory um, and then into the settings um system setting these are all pretty much self-explanatory if you go look at it you'll know what it is um, display settings you know the daylight I, I like it super bright wallpaper I don't want none of that um, the EQ the radio setting the Wi-Fi settings <coughs> uh, Bluetooth setting so you have all this stuff all this stuff is pretty self-explanatory if you guys are installing this radio you guys should know how to access this um, all these settings so we'll go back home and then we'll go back to CarPlay so CarPlay is what really what I like um, right there it's funny because the time the time is 24 hour here but when you go to the home section um i have it set up for two um, 12 hour so i'm not sure why it's doing that see so now it's back to 12 hours so carplay is really nice i love it this is what i what well, this, this is what this is the reason why i bought it for one of the things i don't like or i guess <coughs> one of the things i like and i don't like is that <coughs> when you turn on your lights it, it dims out so it goes into night mode and the thing is that when I drive my Land Cruiser whether it's night or day I always like to drive with my daylights my headlights on so when I turn on my headlights during the daytime it becomes like that which is not what I like so I wish there was a feature where I can turn that off in the in the radio but I don't think there is <laughs> so right now I'm just gonna have to deal with it when I'm driving in the in the daytime because like I say I like I like to have my headlights on during the daytime at all times so CarPlay is really nice. The only thing I don't like about the CarPlay is that some of the apps don't show up. So here's your settings. Here's your home right here. So you can just swipe like that. So you swipe it there, you go to your map. So this is where we're at right now. Audio, whatever you want to play. And then you'll go to your home page. This is the auto page. So this goes back to the radio, the, the original fa factory and CarPlay. So you have your phone. You can call people right here. You got my favorites. Photo Tommy's on my favorites. Um, you have the keypad. You can type it in. <coughs> so, you, so right now I can still call people and talk <coughs> because there is a mic right here. There's a small mic right here. I'm pretty sure it's not the best mic, but we'll test that out in a bit here. All right. So there's a phone. I like this thing. It has the music and the maps. You can open maps full screen. So right now we're here at the Tecatlu Center on the east side, and you can just go search up. Uh, let's do gas station. So let's go right here. Boom. So literally, you can just type in go. Boom. That's what I love about it. And then we're going to exit out here. So how do you exit? There you go. And the other thing I wish I kind of liked, it's not the radio's fault, but it's the, um, it's the, uh, it's the way it is. I wish this, I wish the screen was kind of more angled like this so I can touch it like right here. 
instead of going ahead with like here. But that's just the way the car is designed, you can't change that. So let's change back. I'm just gonna show you guys some of my features that I love. So that's the map. We're gonna exit the map. Um, you got the messages, you can text people. So right here, you can go to people. What do you want to say? How is the project going? Question mark. Your message to Eric. Black Yoda says, how is the project going? Send it. Done. So boom, that's awesome. So you can send message just on the fly like that. Um, you have the now playing, radio, all that stuff, calendar. Um, you got the settings for right here. This is like all the settings, wallpaper, self-explanatory stuff. You guys can check it out. And then the only thing I don't, I wish that was on here was my Onyx Hunt. So I have my camera here. So this right here is my favorite app for off-roading because this is like the maps. You know, when we go off-roading into new territory, <coughs> I like using this because I can also track myself. Um, I like to track myself in case I get lost. So this app doesn't show up here. And the other thing that was I was talking about is that the if I was able to get the um, if I was able to get the auto link working, <coughs> it was it would mirror this app. And that's the thing that I want to find out right now, how to mirror it. Because if I, if I can't get it to show up on the CarPlay like how it is, um, you know, it's pretty useless. I mean, the only thing they have is the GIA map and GIP, GPS, <coughs> which is another good map, but I don't really use it. And I might have to get used to it, um, using it. So, and the thing that it doesn't even work at all too, it's like, it just shows this blue screen and it doesn't show anything else at all. So, see that? I don't know where it's, I don't know it's showing nothing. It's just blacked out. Yeah, so it's pretty useless, the Gia. Um, you have Zoom, do Google Maps, like I said, what we were doing. And then that's pretty much it. So it doesn't show you all your apps. <coughs> I only show you some of the basics, um, shows you the music. I don't have any music on my phone. That's the radio. And then we'll go ahead and show now playing. I don't have any music there as well. Um, there's audio books. I haven't dig into that yet, but the main thing I'll probably be using <coughs> is the maps and probably the text message and the phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the phone and we'll call. Um, we'll call my wife and just show you guys an example of how everything works and how good the quality sounds. So the audio is on right now, I think. Hello. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, okay i'm just i'm filming you right now because i'm doing a video on my new radio so you're on my car speaker just testing the audio see how it sounds like can you hear me pretty good what what'd you say <clears throat> i'm saying i'm testing out my new radio where i can call people on the radio or on my on my new radio like the new cars uh how good can you hear me oh i can hear you pretty good is that why my bluetooth was for some reason, my audio earlier was mixed up. No, this is just my car. Oh, that's weird. My my thing was connected to something, and I couldn't hear any <coughs> audio. Am I on speaker or are you just not speaker? You are on speaker. So you can hear me pretty good, like right now. So I'm 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 standing way over here, or yeah. I'm. Okay, so I just want to yeah. test. Okay, just want to test it out. I'll see you in a bit. Then I'll be home. Sounds a little muffled, but other than that, I could still hear you. Okay, sounds good. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, you. Bye. Bye, Boom, so there you go, guys. So she can hear me pretty decent. I'm kind of muffling, <clears throat> but if I'm pretty sure if I was to install that um, external microphone right here, if you wanted to install that, <clears throat> you could make it much more better. And, and if I was to install it, I was going to route it behind the glove box, come up the A-frame, <clears throat> and put it right here somewhere. But for right now, I'm not gonna mess with that. Um, right now, I just wanna figure out how to get the OnX Hunt app on here. And I, I wanna figure out how to get the auto link. So that's the biggest thing I wanna get to. But right now, there's no more humming noise. You can see here, when I turn on my lights. Um, yesterday, when I made the video, when I turn on my lights, there's a humming noise because I haven't unplugged the amplifier. But now the amplifier has been unplugged and now it works perfectly. So let me go ahead and just play the radio real quick so you guys can get a sound check. So there, so there you go. Don't want to play too much because of copyright reason. But that's a quick review of the 
Auto um, FX. This is the wireless version. They do have a wire version, so they have they have one just like this. But when you want to, but it's not wireless. So they have another version like this that's a bit more cheaper, where you have to plug in your phone and then you can do like the car plate stuff. Um, I highly recommend you guys don't buy that one. I think it's only like thirty bucks more to go with this version. So go wireless if you guys have a decent new phone that can do Bluetooth and stuff. Uh, pay the little bit extra money <coughs> and go with the wireless one because it's definitely worth it. Um, the only reason why I have this plug on here is because I want to have the phone charge and um it's just good to charge the phone as well because right now you can see the phone's charging but i, I was i was able, I, I was able to get this on amazon for just under like 190 ship which is an amazing deal because when i was shopping for these radios i didn't want anything too fancy i didn't want anything too expensive i was looking at the sony's and the sony's like three four hundred five hundred bucks and honestly i don't want to pay that much because i'm not I'm, I'm not looking for all that features i just wanted the feature where it's like touch screen screen and a car play and just maps and stuff like that so i think this is definitely worth it um i'll put a link in the video description if you guys are interested and we'll go ahead and wrap up this video so far i love it i'll keep you guys upgraded um updated if i do any changes and if you guys have any questions let me know in the comment section below but this is my new auto f7 xe and like i say right now i'm satisfied with what it is and definitely well worth the money